Hey everybody, in today's video we've got two quick tests. The first is, um, I have our Hornady 55 grain bullet loaded up in Winchester brass this time. When I tested the velocities and the accuracy, it was with uh, PPU brass. This is uh, Winchester 556 brass. So, um, I'm wanting to test to see if the velocity is the same as what we were getting with the PPU brass. The second test, is because I want to test to see if I need to be crimping these at all. Currently, I don't put any sort of crimp on rifle ammunition, and I don't know if that's going to affect things or not, and I've never actually taken the time to measure it before. So, what I'm going to do is set this aside for a minute, and I'm going to take some measurements of this ammo as I load it into the magazine to see if we get any overall length migration. The point that I will measure it is after the round is chambered, I'll stop, drop the magazine, eject the round, and then check the overall length. So this will be the tenth shot that I put into the magazine first, and it is at, let me get my caliper zeroed here, okay. We're at 2.198 overall. So that'll be the last shot fired, so it'll go into the magazine first. Okay, shot number nine. 2.202. And shot number eight. 2.199. Okay, so I'll go ahead and load that one into the magazine, followed by the next six, and then we'll measure the first one, because I want to see if there's any migration that's coming from just chambering it as well. So this will be the first shot we take, and unfortunately my hand bumped the zero button again when I was holding the caliper, so we'll zero it back out. And this one's at 2.204. Okay, so the first test is just chambering this round, the first one, then I'll eject it back out and see if it's changed at all. Okay, so I'll just chamber that round. Oh, it'd work better if the magazine was in all the way. There we go. And I'll pop this back out. And eject that, okay. Let's measure and see if we got any migration on that. 2.203 and go ahead and put a 5 after that 3 because we've got an extra 1000 so it looks like if anything we shortened up by a half thousandth okay so that's barely significant let's go ahead and shoot these alright we'll load that back into the magazine and we're ready to go. And chronograph's not picking up. Let me make sure I'm getting a good line over the top of it. Hmm, no data on a chronograph. After those first two shots, I'm going to take a quick look at the brass and make sure I don't have any pressure signs. All right, I didn't find those two shots, so I'm going to take two more and see if I can uh, see where the brass goes this time. We're both going to be watching. Should have eight shots left. Still nothing on the chronograph, but our brass looks fine. Not a thing on the chronograph. I might have to... Uh, do this another time. 
Okay, so that should be seven. Six. Five. Four. And, if I'm not mistaken, yes, we've got three rounds left. So, take the magazine out. Eject our shell. Okay, so this is shot eight on that list. And we've got an overall length of 2.196. And our original number was 2.199. So we've actually shrunk in overall length by three thousandths on that one. 2.1965. Okay. Okay. Shot nine is at 2.200. And it looks like we shrunk by two thousandths there. Again, last was two and a half thousandths. But I wouldn't think it would make a difference. Okay, and last one. Shot 10. Two point one nine five. Okay, so actually two point one nine. Yep, two point one nine five, right on the button. Two point one nine five five. Let's go ahead and put an extra five over there. Okay. So, and I suppose that I can go ahead and shoot this last shot, but I'm gonna save it for a little bit later. Uh, what we have here is that the overall length is growing, or shrinking rather, by three, two to three thousandths on each shot. Now, I'm not sure, let me see here, it actually grew on that first one by one thousandth when it just chambered in. So we are getting a little bit of setback into the case under recoil by two to three thousandths it looks like. Um, I would assume that that could get to, after more than 10 shots, that that could start to stack up to more than two to three thousandths under repeated recoil. So I might have to start thinking about crimping these loads. Uh, now, I don't have the die to crimp them right now. I've tried using the uh, crimping function in the cedar die in the past, but all it does is bell out the case and completely ruin the cartridge. So we won't be using that. What I'll probably have to do is pick up a Lee factory crimp die or something similar to actually put a cr crimp directly on the case mouth. Uh, Cause I really don't want that migration any. Anyway, that was a quick little video. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.